All right, let's talk about something fun. We're going to talk about angelic beings. Well, before the creation of the world, before humans, before earth was on the the planet, God created a supernatural host of beings called angels, and they were there for the sole purpose of worshiping him. And one of those angels uh, named Satan, before that was known as Lucifer, or an angel of light, he decided to rebel and said, I will ascend to the most high. I will be like God. And he wanted to take God's spot. And with him, he took a third of the angels with him. So there are, now remember, this is so important. There are demons, which are called fallen angels, all right? Now, and then there are, there are angels, which are still angelic beings, designed to worship him and to carry out um, his message. Remember, an angel just simply means messenger, if you didn't know what that means in, in the Greek. But an angel simply carries out his message and does the will of God in worshiping him. Now, watch this. Let's say for every demon, there are two angels. So here's the three, an- three angelic supernatural beings. That's some, let's do some good math. Supernatural beings. Now, here's why this is important. For every, for every demon, sometimes we have a lot of people who are freaked out and afraid of demons. Just know that for every demon, there is two angels. And uh, now a demon can uh, influence, tempt, control, even possess a non-believer. But a demon can not possess a follower of Christ because the Holy Spirit indwells Christians. But a demon can oppress a believer. And so if you're experiencing any of that, please let one of our leaders know. We'd love to be able to pray for you and just keep watch over your soul.